All right. I want to start off by saying, Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawashai. Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawashai. Brakathaya Hawa, Brakathaya Hawashai. Call Hala Yahawa, Ba Shem Yahawashai, Ba Shem Raka Kodash. Double honor to the apostles of GMS who ruled well and who taught me this truth. And uh, Shalom to you, sincere Akiam, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And uh, Shalom to the few sincere Akwath out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to write this out. It'll be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go in the uh, Rakak Wadash. Uh, today's date is November 4th, uh, 2021, the year of hastening, the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. All right. And that's um, pretty much. Um, what this lesson is going to be centered around 2021 the coming of our the, the year of um hastening the coming of our lord yahweh bahashim yahweh shai yahweh shai hamashiach who the world ignorantly calls jesus christ who his true name all right in the paleo hebrew the ancient hebrew the lashawan kodash his name is yahweh shai okay yahweh shai all right and um the heavenly father who the, who you ignorantly call god god just means power his true name is Yahweh, and his only begotten son's name again is Yahweh Shai, and uh, he's a so-called black man. He's a so-called Negro from the tribe from the tribe of Judah, and he's coming back to redeem his people. You tribes, you so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Latinos, Hispanics, North Americans, Seminole Indians, and the Israelite foreigners, the Israelites that are scattered abroad, but that may look like some of the heathen nations, you know may look like Esau, Edom, Moab, Ammon, so on and so forth, Ishmael. But their seed, because the man carries the seed, that their lineage, according to their father, uh, goes back to one of the 12 patriarchs. You are Israelites. You are the Lord's chosen people. All right? And the Lord is coming back to redeem us. Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All right? And um, as you can see, coming soon, and what the world ignorantly called UFOs, U U UAPs, all right? Those are the chariots of Israel, chariots of the Lord. All right, the the vehicles of the angels. All right, and that's how our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. All right, is coming back to redeem us in the midst of the third woe. Right, you know, in the midst of all hell breaking loose. That's and that's pretty much the point that I wanted to get to. Um, we're at the end of 2021. All right, we're of heralding in the coming of our Lord. All right, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. November. We're almost in uh, December. You know, and as you know. Um, we, we, we don't know yet, but Elder Apostle Tahar always has a name for the year, all right? And we, because we know each year has a, has a uh, vibration about it, okay? 2021, we were hastening the coming of our Lord. We we're heralding them in, you know? You know, while I'm examining ourselves, you know, you know, you know, putting on as the elect, you know? We at the end of the year, you see a heavy spirit of rebuke went out from, you know, from the elders on, you know, on down, you know, you know, tightening things up. And, and, and also the prophecies, the prophecies have been screaming, you know, in the midst of us, you know, getting ourselves together. And, and what, what also has been happening, um, the, this truth uh, at an all time high, all time, you know, uh, been magnified. The names of the Lord, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? You know, this sound doctrine, you know, that we learned from our apostles on down, the men of Great Millstone, this sound doctrine, this 100% truth, no leaven, you know, beautiful, beautiful time. But, you know, a lot of things has happened, you know, and um, that's that's the sentiment I, I, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about 2021, 2022, Salakia, we're at the end of 2021, heralding in the Lord, hastening his coming, 2022 is going to have a completely different vibration. You, as you know, when they say peace and safety, you know, Operation Warp Speed, you know, the devil is coming down with great wrath, you know, hey, man, it's about to get nasty. It's about to get nasty. So, hey, now is the time to, 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 to um, um, like, lock in and, you know, really put that, that push. We had to, hopefully, Lord's will, we had to, that last sprint, that you know, because 2022 is going to be a hell of a year, man. Who knows, maybe the, the famine of the word. Because you already see 2021, they've been, each year they've been gradually bringing in the squeeze. The unrighteous decrees, you know, you know. Hey, man, like I said, this this is like a quick exhortation, man. Basic milk precepts, but hey, they ring ring true. 
I don't want to rot this out. This should be edifying. Examine yourself, which we should be doing daily, daily, to see if we're in the truth. Constantly repentant. We're broken records. Because that hour of temptation is drawing nigh. It's drawing nigh. And the Lord is, is watching everything. You're going to have to. No one can save you, okay? Only one that can save us is Yahweh Shai. He's the intercessor, our big brother, all right? You know, the man standing next to you, the woman standing next to you, or vice versa, all right? We're all going to have to give account for the things done in our body, for your works, your actions, your deeds, okay? You know, and, and it's, no, it's going to be no excuses, man. Now is the time. Now is the grace period, the time to get yourself together, man. You know what's required of you. You see the men out there. You see them pushing, going hard, on fire for this truth. You know what's required of you. We're broken records, okay? This truth has been magnified, all right? It's evident who the Lord is dealing with. If you if you can't, if you don't know by now, you ain't meant to know, all right? You're not meant to know. It's evident. The Lord is not like Esau, Edom. He's not trying to trick you, you know? You know? The Lord is long-suffering. He, he's, he's OD. He's repetitive, you know? He overdoes things. He overkills things, you know? And the Lord is really angry with the world, angry with our people chiefly. The wicked, the heathens, they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. But Yasharala, you're the, you're, we're, we're some, the Lord put his name upon us. You know, so there's no excuses, man. There's no excuses. This word has gone out from 1969, from uh, Elder Abba on down. You know, the, the, the men have been warning you about this cruel day. That's about the cruel day of the Lord. That's quickly approaching, man. You know? Once, once, the, once Esau comes down with great wrath and locks this thing down, hey, hey the doors of mercy are closed, man. And you ain't going to be able to get comfort nowhere. The Lord, hey, seek the Lord now while he may be found. Okay? Anyway, I'm, I'm off it. I'm going to bang these scriptures out and close out. They're pretty much self-explanatory, you know? But these are milk precepts, but, um, they, hey, man, they ring true now, man. Especially now, especially now. More now, more so now than ever, you know. Um, um, this is a uh, First Corinthians chapter seven. First Corinthians seven. I start at um, seven and twenty-seven. You know, and this is this is no shots at nobody. This is just in general. General, we all need to examine ourselves. You know, you know, we all could. You know, all all things are for edification and edi You know, you know, for the everything is for the elect's sake. You know, you know, so it says, um, this is, uh, first Corinthians seven and 27, I believe seven. Yeah. Seven and 27. It says, art thou bound unto a wife? Seek not to be loosed. Art thou loose from a wife? Seek not a wife. But if thou marry, thou hast not sinned. And if a virgin marry, she has not sinned. Nevertheless, such shall have trouble in the flesh, but I spare you. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. It remaineth that both they that have wives be as though they have none. All right. So it doesn't matter. And, and you know, chiefly, I do my videos for the men, ye men of Israel. I'm concerned with the men, the, the elect men. All right. That's that's the the the, the believers. They gonna believe. They gonna they gonna you know, <laughs> they gonna get sealed. You know. But we got a job to do. You know, first and foremost, to much is given, much is required. If you have the eyes solved, if you have the ears to hear, now is the time to push, man. You're, you know, if you got that talent, flip it. You know, it doesn't matter if you how long you've been working, laboring. The Lord told you about the parable. We're all gonna get the same reward, okay? And now, of course, we know there's levels of things, of course, that you know. But I'm keeping it basic. We're all push, man. You know, first shall be last, and the last shall be first. It doesn't matter. You're gonna, you know. Now, if you if you got that talent and you hide it, man, you're gonna get beaten with many stripes. You don't want to be a coulda, woulda, shoulda, nigga, man. There's no excuses. We all catching hell, all right. We all, hey, we all then been, been uh, we still catching hell to this day. But there's no excuses. We keep pushing. We could, we keep going hard, okay. Gird up thy loins like a man. It's required of thee. There's no excuses, man. You're not special. You're not catching more hell than the next man. We all catching hell, you know. From the elders on down, elder apostles to har on down. Uh, we all catching hell, but there's no excuses. Now it's time to go hard and push. We at the home stretch. Like I said, 2022, Lord's will will be a whole different vibration. You, you know, peace and safety, sudden destruction. Right now, 
the two thirds the world is in la la land man you know they don't really understand what's about to happen but if you got the eyes solved to see you can you can see man the quiet before the storm you know you know all hell is about to break loose so again it doesn't matter if you have a wife or not and I'm, I'm not saying to put your wife away or none of that stupid shit okay but the but the point of the matter is occupying you know you know what's required of you there's no excuses seek the lord first seek the kingdom first then everything else will be added unto you you know store up these righteous um works these acts in heaven man you know when no, you know thieves cannot break in and steal moth and rust does not corrupt these you know money and all this other shit that's all vain it's all going to come to naught man you know you know seek the kingdom seek the lord so that hedge will be around you when all hell breaks loose which is is quickly approaching each day that passes is, is, is a day closer to our redemption, to the kingdom. But remember, through much tribulation, we're going to enter into the kingdom. Jacob's trouble, Daniel 12 and 1, a time ain't never before. All right? So now is the time to push, especially you men, man. Okay? Push. Go hard for the truth. Go, ho go hard for the Lord. That way he'll go hard for you in that time. Okay? You know? You know? And we all are in need of that physician, man. We all are sick. We all are pieces of shit, myself included. Okay, we all need a savior. We all need saving because we're in this flesh, this corruptible flesh. All right? These chains of darkness. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is not. Okay? You know, so fight, push. There's no excuses, man. Fight. Again, um, 1 Corinthians 7 and 27. Art thou bound unto a wife? Seek not to be loosed. Yeah, don't be looking to just put her away and looking for the easy road, man. It's saying this thing, this is a position of difficulty. This is a straight gate. This thing is difficult, man. But you got to, hey, whatever's your, 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 your burden, your cross, carry it, man. You know? You know? Don't be, you know? Art thou bound unto a wife? Seek not to be loosed. If she dealing with you happily, you know, she, she ain't, you know, she ain't committing adultery. She going to be a demon. She going to be a demon. She's supposed to be a demon. But that's to let you know that this is not your rest, man. If she wasn't a demon, if she was truly, you know, uh, you know, you wouldn't want to, you wouldn't want to stay here, okay? Remember Lot's wife. Keep pushing, you know. Keep pushing. It says, "Art thou bound unto a wife? Seek not to be loosed. Art thou loose from a wife? Seek not a wife." And if you don't have a wife, don't be out there trying to chase the box just because you can have multiple wives. And you know, don't don't. Now is not that we, we gonna get them. The women are gonna come, man. You know. Chase, chase Sophia, okay. Chase Sophia if you can receive it. That's the woman that we're, we're, you know, we're mad, we're concerned with pleasing, you know, you know. It says, but, but, and if thou marry, thou hast not sinned. And remember, if you have a wife, don't just cast her off because you're in the truth, because th th there's laws on it, there's scriptures on it, man. You know, you got your your husbandly duty just as she has her wifely duty, you know, you know. Because what, if, if, for example, if you stop going unto her, right, you're going to make her go out there and cheat and she's going to become adulterer. So you, it's this balance. You don't be over-righteous, you know? Balance. A false balance is an abomination. You got to, it's a tightrope. You got to, you know, you got to find your, your pace. Find, you know, you know? But at the end of the day, keep your eyes single. Focus, man, you know? It says, but, and if thou marry, thou hast not sinned, and if a virg and if a virgin marry, she have not sinned. Nevertheless, such shall have trouble in the flesh. Like I said, at the end of the day, man and woman, you're, it, it's going it's to be a fight. It ain't going to be a perfect, loving um, Disney story, man. That's not reality. We're brought here as a punishment, captivity, okay? And we both are in the flesh. And there's demons and all, you know, the spirits are active. It, it, you know, but the point of the matter is you got to bring your body into subjection. You got to fight. So you got to learn to sometimes humble yourself and this, that, and the third. Eat it. Bear the indignation of the, of the Lord because you sinned. You know, like Micah said, you know, you know, it is what it is. It's all building character, hardening in you. Endure hardness as a good soldier, you know, you know. It says, um, but this is the main point, verse uh, 29. But this, I say, brethren, is like I'm always concerned with. The, ye men, ye men, like the Lord, ye men of Israel. It says, the time is short. Hey, man, November 4th, 2021, the year of hastening the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. 
2022 is going to be a whole different vibration. Lord's will, we don't, we, we out of here, man. We don't know. We don't know the exact hour, but we're measuring the time diligently. We can see we're close. We're close, man. We're cl real fucking close. Salakia. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. It remaineth that both they that have wives be as though they had none. All right? And that's the point. That's the main point that I wanted. Okay? So let's keep pushing. Um... This is uh, Philippians 2 and two and 12. Like I said, because you, at the end of the day, you're going to have to give account for the things done in your body. Yeah, the, the uh, um, believing wife can save the unbelieving husband and vice versa. Okay? But the, at, the, at the end of the day, you working out your own salvation, man. You've been here before multiple times. There is such a thing as reincarnation. You got to answer for the things done in your body. You're going to have to appear, which I got it. You're going to have to answer. You're going to have to, you're going to have to answer, man. Okay. You ain't going to be no excuse. You can't blame nobody but yourself. You ain't going to be able to blame your mother and your past and the way you grew up and your baby daddy and your baby mama and this, that, and the third, and this brother did this to you and that brother did this. It ain't no, man. It's no excuses. We all are catching hell. We all done went through it. Whatever you done went through, a million brothers done went through it too. I'm exaggerating, but that's the you get you get the idea. You're not special, man. And you're damn sure your Hawashai went through whatever you went through a million times more. Okay, and he was perfect when he came as your Hawashai, okay? You know? You know? You know, so hey, it is what it is. It's an honor. It's an honor. You know? Take it cheerfully, you know? This is um uh Philippians two and Philippians 2 and 12. Wherefore, my beloved, all right, as ye have always obeyed, because that's the only ones we're, we're concerned with, the hopeful elect, all right? The ones of you that are trying, repenting, bringing your bodies into subjection, rehearsing the righteous acts, trying to, keep, trying to keep the high holy days to the best of your ability, fighting, doing these lessons and reading and, you know, keeping the laws. To the, that's who we care about, man. Uh, not you scoffers and scorners. You're the two-thirds, man. You're predestined for destruction, just like your daddy, okay? You know? So it says, um, um, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. All right? That's the point. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. We're not yet saved, man. We got, that's why we give diligence. We go hard because we, we don't know. You know, we, we, you know, but you got to constantly beg the Lord, fight, 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 push, you know. Um, let me see. I have some more. Let's see. Uh, this is Mark. Mark um, 12. Mark chapter 12. And 29. And Yahweh answered him. The first. And Yahweh answered him. The first of all the commandments is here. O Israel. O Yashirala. The Lord, our power is one power, is one Lord, one Adawan, all right? So it says, um, and thou shalt love the Lord, thy power, with all thy heart and with all thy soul. This is what, this is the main point that I wanted, right? There's one God, right? The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel, right? Yasharala, no other gods, right? All the other gods are, are false idols, baby gods, baby Gs, you know, vain, empty, you know? You see, and um, the one Lord, you know, you know, one truth, one baptism, you know, one way, this, the straight gate, this thing of ours, right? You know, one sound doctrine, you know, it says, and thou shalt love the Lord, thy power with all thy heart. That's the point that you got to love the Lord and love is an action word, right? The Lord said, if you, it was that John, if you love me, keep my commandments. Love is an action word. You got to show it, you know, through your, through your actions. All right. It said, with all thy heart, right? And with all thy soul and with all thy mind and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And that, that's what I wanted to, to bring out to, in this point here that you got to do it in sincerity and truth, man. You got to seek the Lord, not for filthy lucre, not for vain glory, not for no, no ulterior motives, man. You got to, you, you working out your own salvation and you got to do it with, with all your might, man. You know, with all your might, okay? And thou shalt, and you know, and it's a fight. It's a fight, you know. But, the, but 
in doing that, you're building that connection, your relationship with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know? You know, it all comes full circle. But you gotta be obedient, you know? You know, fight them, fight them demons, fight the flesh, you know? Fight off, you know, fight. It says, And thou shalt love the Lord Yah and thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Be thou faithful unto death, right? And he shall give thee a crown of life. And with all thy mind, right? And with all thy strength, right? You don't lean upon your own understanding. We filter everything through the scriptures, all right? You know? You know? It says, this is the first commandment. It says, and the second is like, namely this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, which we know your neighbor is a fellow Israelite, all right? Not a heathen, not, a, a, not another nation. A, a fellow Israelite is your neighbor, okay? Your brother or sister, all right? It says, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other great... There is none other commandment greater than these. So basically, and, and they're, they're basically the kind of the same, man. You know, if you love the Lord and you, you keep, it's, it's synonymous, man. You know, you're going to treat your, the, the law teaches you that, man. You know, you know, you know, you know, teaches you how to treat your brother and so on and so forth. And you're going to do it anyway because you love the Lord. You know, you know. You're not gonna, your eye's not gonna be evil, you know. You're gonna wanna, you're gonna. Now we can't save everybody, like I said, the two thirds, you know. But you're gonna warn him. You, every, it's gonna come full circle. You're gonna go hard for the Lord. You're gonna wanna study. You're gonna wanna make sure you're teaching your brother the right thing. I mean, it all comes comes full circle. If you love the Lord with all thy mind, you're gonna wanna search the scriptures. You're gonna wanna study. You're not gonna be slugger, lukewarm. You see, you see. And, and uh, I brought this out because th this is the key right here, man. Because we at the end of this thing, you know. Fuck all that other bullshit, man. You know. Seek the kingdom. Do what the Lord is telling you. Seek the Lord. You know. You know. Fight. Push. You know. Warn the people. Feed the sheep. You know. Feed the Lord's sheep. Warn them. You know. Um. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 5 and... Five and seven. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Everything we do, we try to do it to the best of our ability through the Spirit, the Rakak Wadash. And we hope, you know, we try to make sure everything we do is pleasing unto you. How about you, You know, and I, I you know, we, we govern things through the Scriptures. Okay? It says, We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Our mind, man, we're always, cause the, if you stay in the flesh, you're just going to want to do the things that are pleasing unto the flesh, you know, which are carnal, lust. A lot of, most of the time, is wickedness, man. The flesh is wickedness, man. That's what Paul said. No good thing is in him, man. But wickedness, sin lies in the flesh. So your mind, you constantly try to stay in the spirit. You meditate on the precepts and, you know, you know, the prophecies and, you know, watching, the, measuring the time diligent, watching the new, you know, you stay in the spirit. It says, we are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body, yeah, and not trying to just please the flesh all the goddamn time, you know, and to be present with the Lord, yeah, and the spirit, our, our, our mind is on the kingdom, you know, you know, it says, wherefore we labor, because you got to push, fight, labor, that we, with the, and it's a fight, constantly trying to bring your body into subjection, wherefore we labor, that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him, that's the thing. We all, we, hey, because we got to appear. Let me read it. For we, this is the main point. And you got to labor. You, you want to be found worthy. You want the Lord, you know, because we're not perfect, but you want to, you want the Lord to say, okay, you, you, your works are, are good enough. So you, all them other sins are blotted out, man. You, you want to be found blameless, you know, you know, you want your sins blotted out, man. You know, you know, you got to push, fight. How do you do the things pleasing unto the Lord? You know, you know. It says, wherefore we labor that whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. Yeah, by doing the things pleasing unto him, which is what? Feeding the Lord's sheep, you know, you know. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, that everyone must receive the things done in his body. And ultimately, hey, refusing that goddamn mark, that karagma, okay? You know, that's damn sort of number one no-no. Don't receive that mark, that chip, okay? You know? You take that mark, you through. The karagma, you through. Revelation 14 and 9, okay? That, you, 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 you're faithful unto death. You resist unto death. The Lord, that, the Lord, that's pleasing unto the Lord. You stood stiffly, you know? 
It says, for we must all appear. You don't want to appear before the Lord with that mark in you. He's going to destroy you, man. He's going to destroy you. He's going to cut you asunder and give you your portion with the, the hypocrites, the unbelievers, the wicked, which is the lake of fire, the nukes, the ICBMs. You see? And that's why we're laboring. So we don't have to, we want to be delivered up out of that, man. You know? You know? Wherefore we labor that whether present or absent, that's why no man putting his hand to the plow looking back is fit for the kingdom. You 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 spit in the Lord's face, man. You put the Lord to open shame. You you know. Wherefore we labor that whether present or absent, we 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 may be accepted of Him, for we must all appear before before the judgment seat of Hamashiach. Okay, that everyone must receive the things. Everyone, man, woman, and child. Okay, old and young. Right, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done. Whether it be good or bad, you see, you see, and that's what that's what it is. You see, you're gonna have to answer for the things done in your body. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is coming with a, a reward for the righteous and a reward for the wicked. Hey, Lord's will, we're gonna get that righteous reward. That's why we're, we're we're pushing. Okay, we're fighting. It says, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. Okay, it's not all love and you know peaches and cream and hugs and kisses, man. You know, he's an austere man. There's a whole complete different side of him, man. He's a jealous power, okay? You know, and he's married unto us. See how much and how was shy, okay? You know, we are the apple of his eye, the lot of his inheritance, okay? You know, and he put his name upon us, but it, it was bought with the price. The price is obedience, okay? Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, yeah, Allah al Shadia, the terrible demon like power, okay? Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord. We persuade men. Because that's chiefly who we're concerned with. Ye men of Israel. Okay. You know. It said. But we are made manifest unto Yahweh. Yeah. And I and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. Okay. Um, couple more. Two more. And I'll close out. Um, uh, First Peter's 4. First Peter's 4. Straight to the point. 4 and 12. Beloved. Think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you. Yeah, when you come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. You know, it's an honor, man. It's an honor to catch hell. And best believe me, you're going to catch hell. You gonna, you ain't caught hell yet. You ain't resisted yet unto blood. That our temptation is not has not presented itself yet. You know, it's drawing nigh. We're close. We're close. But, hey, it's, it's not yet. You still got mercy. You still got time to get yourself together. You still got time to repent. You know? You know? Beloved, think it not strange to, beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you. That's that straight gate, the furnace of affliction. You know, acceptable men are tried, you know. You know, we're, we're, that gold, we're, all our impurities are being um, burnt off, you know. All this hell we catch is making us men, you know, righteous men, you know, you know. Like I said, you're not special, no excuses, man, keep pushing. Whatever you're going through. Hey, somebody else then went through it and conquered it. Or is going through it right now and still pushing and still fighting. There's no excuse. And the Lord always makes a way for you to escape, man. He doesn't put more on you than you can bear. You see? You see? Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you. Because the Lord is all about testing. Testing. And the ultimate test, like I said, is about to present itself. You know? As though some strange thing happened unto you. You see? But rejoice in as much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's sufferings. Yeah, it's, it's an honor to drink of that cup, man. It's an honor. Who the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, man. You know? You know? Don't be a little B.I.H., you know? <laughs> Gird up thy loins like a man, you know? You know? You know? Be the be a good soldier for your Hawashiach Hamashiach, man. It says, but rejoice. And as much as ye are partakers of Hamashiach's sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. That's the point. That's the point. So one more and I'm out of here. Um, um, this is uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 23. Ecclesiasticus 23. Uh, 17. All bread is sweet to a whoremonger. He will not leave off till he die. A man that break, breaketh wedlock, saying thus in his heart, Who seeth me? That's for you, 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 um, 
you people that took your hand from the plow because we're married unto the Lord, okay? You're going to get beat with many stripes, man. You better repent, man, while you can. You know, you better repent, man. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Seek him ten times more, you know? Seeing that, seeing that it was in your heart to go astray from him, you know? You know? Man, the Lord is a jealous power. He's a jealous power, man. A man that breaketh wedlock, saying thus in his heart, who seeth me, I am compassed about with darkness. Yeah, you think all the wickedness in this world is going on so the Lord don't see your ass, your little punk ass. Wrong, because you were that, you, it said it's better that you not even come into this thing, okay? You know? It's better that you not even, you, the Lord said it's better that you are hot or cold. You don't want to be lukewarm. You don't want to take your hand from the plow, you know? Because if you were cold, hey, it is what it is. You're just going to get that judgment. That you ain't gonna, you know? But you, you knew better You took because you, you knew the Lord's will. You knew he was an austere man. You knew him. You understood the Lord. You understood the gravity of it. You just was a wicked-ass nigga, man. You just was like, F you, you know? You know, you just spit on the Lord. You know, you knew how important it was and what, you know, the, the severity of what you, the gravity of what you was involved in, right? But you think all this wickedness and, uh, uh, you know, Esau's not in trouble as other men and all that. You, you know, you think they winning out there. You think they winning out there not knowing that they, that all that, that all they that afflicted us are miserable. You don't understand that. You don't understand that our, all our enemies are really miserable. They live in a facade, a fake life. Everybody's miserable because the wicked is ruling. They're mourning, okay? You know, so you want to go out there because you think they're rejoicing. You think they're rejoicing. You see? You see? You think you're just going to slide back in the world. Nah, the Lord see you. The angels is watching you. The angels is watching you, and you're going to have to give account. You're going to have to give account, man. Woo, I wouldn't want to be you. It says, a man that, because you break if you're wedlock. We out here passing, still got our wedding garments on, you know, passing out the invitations, you know, being a good servant, you know, and you just out there just living it on up, right? You think the Lord forgot about you? Hell nah. A man that breaketh wedlock, saying thus in his heart, and your heart is your mind, your lob. You think nobody see you. You know, you think you winning. It says, who seeth me? I am compassed with darkness. The walls cover me, and nobody seeth me. What need I to fear? Yeah, because the Lord is, is long suffering. He's giving you. I know you see the videos. I know you. I know the. You know the Lord is warning you, screaming at you. I know you're seeing spiritual things, but you ain't taking heed. You ain't taking heed. You know, man, man, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. That's why it's important to keep pushing, man. Daily examining yourself. Fight, fight, push. You know, a man that breaketh wedlock, saying thus in his heart, who seeth me. I am compassed with darkness in this place, the valley of the shadow of death. You know, it's only a little bit of beacons of light. That's Zion, the monuments, them brothers pushing, the hopeful elect. You know, the walls cover me and nobody seeth me. What need I to fear? The Most High will not remember my sins. Fool, thou fool, thy fool, thy fool. It says, such a man only feareth the eyes of men. And that's a lot of you. You're just doing things because you, you fear what men think. You don't really fear the Lord. You, even your actions, man. How you treat other brothers and shit. You, you really just man-pleasing, man. You're not doing things out of the sincerity of your heart. You know? The Lord see you, man. The angels see you. You can't trick the Lord. You can't run game on the Lord. That's why it would, it would man, you got to come right, man. You got to come right. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and not and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men, and considering the most secret parts. The Lord knows your thoughts, thoughts, man. The Lord knows you. <laughs> he put them thoughts. Up. He gave you over that reprobate mind, but it was a test to try you, to see what you was gonna do. And a lot of you are failing miserably. You know. It's going to be too late. It's going to be too late before, you, you know, it's going to be too late. It's going to be too late. He, it's going to be too late. Ooh, it says, it says, I'll read it again. It says, a man that breaketh wedlock, saying thus in his heart, who seeth me, I am compassed about with darkness. The walls cover me and nobody seeth me. What need I to fear? The Most High will not remember my sins. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men, and, know, and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are ten thousand times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men, and considering the most secret parts. He knew all things ere ever they were created. You see? You see? You can't run from the Lord. So it would behoove you to sincerely repent and seek the Lord while he may be found. 
push, man. 2022 is going to be a hell of a year. Could be that, hey, man. Could be the year of famine. Could be the year of famine. Who knows? Who knows? You know? Could be the year, you know? Who knows, man? Who knows? <laughs> I'm just, all I know is 2022 is going to be a completely different vibration than 2021, which is the year of hastening the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Okay? We had the year to push. We're hastening. Man, you see this devil is moving. You see this devil is moving. Ooh, man, repent. It says, He knew all things or ever they were created. Yeah, the Lord is playing chess, man. A lot of you are playing checkers. The Lord is sitting up high, man. You know, you got to look at things spiritually. You got to be spiritually discerned. You know? You know? Fight, man. The Lord is, is constantly warning you. Showing you things. Constantly. You know? You know? It says, He knew all things or ever they were created. So also after they were perfect. So also after they were perfected, He looked upon them all. It says, This man shall be punished in the streets of the city. And where he and where he suspected not, he shall be taken. Oh my goodness! Yeah, when you least expect it, the Lord is gonna come and catch you as a thief in the night. Hey man, I, that's why you gotta occupy, occupy till the Lord comes, man. You know, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Fight, push. We're close. Anyway, I don't want to write the This was edifying. Like I always say, we're close. Keep pushing. Shalom. Wa abad babo.